We've got this very simple Prisma schema here. It's got just one model, this user model. Why don't we add in a database? We'll use Prisma Postgres for that. And then we'll add in Prisma Accelerate to put in some caching as well. So Prisma Postgres and Accelerate are both part of the Prisma data platform. With Prisma Postgres, we can get instant Postgres databases. They wire up in just a matter of seconds. And then with Prisma Accelerate, we can add in some caching. Prisma Accelerate is also usable if you're not hosting your database on Prisma. You can use Prisma Accelerate to add that caching layer in, to add connection pooling and do even more for you. So let's start by going over to console.prisma.io. Then we can pick up a new project there. We'll select a name. I'm just gonna choose whatever is given as the suggestion here. That looks fine to me. Then we'll get started here. Once we've selected Prisma Postgres, we will come down to the region. We've got US East, we've got Europe and Asia Pacific. So we'll just stick with US East there for now. Once the project is created, it's going to start by provisioning, then activating, then finally it's going to be connected. So let's come down and we'll grab the database URL and pulse API key, we'll copy those to the clipboard. Then back over at the project, we can go to the environment file and paste those in. All right, so that is all set. Why don't we migrate the database now? So we'll do npx prisma migrate dev. Then we'll give it a name, we can just use init. And now our database is synced with our schema. All right, we have got this seed file here in CTS, just using Faker.js to create some fake data. Why don't we use that? We can do npx prisma db seed. So 100 users created, the seed command has been executed, everything is done there. So looking in server.ts, we have got a simple query. Users is await prisma, user find many, just logging them out. Let's take a look to see if that's going to work. npm run dev should give us that. All right, so we've got some users coming out. Everything is looking good there. So just to give us a sense of how long this query is going to take, why don't we add some timing in? So just up here, let's do const now equals performance dot now. Then at the end, it's going to be performance.end. We'll log that out. Let's try that. So save that file, npm run dev. All right, so time taken, 474 milliseconds. What we'll also take a look at now is back over in console.prisma.io, let's go over to accelerate and see what's there. And what we can see here is we've got a couple queries listed as being served by Accelerate, and that's because Prisma Postgres itself is served by Accelerate. What we don't yet have though is anything that has been cached. So what we can see down here is we've got some hits to the origin, but nothing from the cache just yet. And that's because we haven't set up Prisma Accelerate's caching layer in our application. So let's go ahead and do that now. The first thing we'll need to do is install an extension. So back over in our project, let's do just that. So what we need to do is npm install at prisma slash extension dash accelerate. All right, things look good there. Let's come up and import it. And what we need to import specifically is going to be something called with accelerate. So with accelerate comes from that extension accelerate package we just installed. Then what we need to do is extend our prisma client. So we call dot dollar extends and we'll pass in with accelerate. What this now does is it gives us the ability to specify some caching strategies in our queries. So for example, we can come into our find many and we can say caching strategy or cache strategy should be this. What we want to do is we want to have SWR, which is stale well revalidate. We can put that to something like 60 for now. And then we'll have TTL as well. What we can do for that is call that 60 at the same time. And so essentially what this means here is that we will be served cache data for 60 seconds, a period of 60 seconds, and then new data will be fetched by Accelerate behind the scenes for 60 seconds as well. All right, so let's save this and see what differences we might get in our query times. Let's do npm run dev again. All right, so a longer time taken there, perhaps that's because we're just warming up the cache. Let's do npm run dev and see what we get again, this time a little bit less. And if we go again, even less that time, and a last time is going to give us an even better result. The way that we can tell whether or not we're actually using the cache though is let's come over to our dashboard here. We'll refresh the page. 
Now, what we see now is we've got some different data on the page. We've got some cache configured queries, and we've also got this cache hit rate down here. Now, ideally, this cache hit rate will grow to be pretty high, and you won't be hitting the origin so much, but rather the cache. But we can take a look at the difference in timing down here. The origin, if we take a look at the average query time there, 232 milliseconds versus 12 milliseconds for the cache. So quite a bit different in terms of the actual time taken to do those queries. Now, of course, 12 milliseconds, that's not what we're seeing over here in the console, and that's because my computer is hitting the remote location quite far away, and so there's going to be some latency there. Assuming that our application will be somewhere near there, ideally the same data center, then we'll really be able to see some of these gains come through to our deployed application. So setting up a Prisma Postgres database and then a cache for it is really straightforward. We can just wire up a new Postgres database on the Prisma data platform. We can then grab Accelerate by installing the extension. So it's at Prisma slash extension Accelerate. We just extend our Prisma client with that and then define a cache strategy for any queries that we want to add caching for. And again, we can track all of what's going on with our cache here in the Prisma dashboard in the Accelerate tab. If you've got any questions about using Prisma Postgres and and accelerate together, please feel free to drop a comment below, or you can reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web or at Prisma on Twitter. Thanks for watching.